Good day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al, trail name, look out. And I am starting in the dark again because I have to get over some freezing snow today. <sighs> so this man here is Danny. How's it going, guys? We trekked together for a couple of days and today we're gonna trek on through the snow. Except he's faster than me, so he's gonna be leading the way. I think we're lost already. We've only just left camp. The sun is coming up and I'm feeling really hot from hiking up these hills. But it's absolutely beautiful to come to this cliff edge and see the sunrise. Almost makes it worth getting out of the sleeping quilt when it's freezing cold. Hello friends, welcome to the trail. So I used to live over on the other side of Baden Powell over there and we left there mid-April 2020 around Easter and there was no snow in any of these mountains and this year it is insane to be seeing still all these snow-capped mountains on the horizon and seeing all the snow we still have left to walk through when I was doing hikes up here back then and you know it's just on the dirt there's no snow but you know each year's different. Time for a little break, I think. Beautiful sleeping quarters throughout here. Some of the native artworks on display. God, it's like that house in the Blair Witch. All we need is handprints everywhere. It starts getting freaky here. What the hell's going on? Oh. It's a nice little spot. What do you think? I don't know about anti-climax, but the shower seems pretty legit. Little snack break over. Time to get back to hiking uphill in snow. Uphill both ways, 15 miles. We've been climbing now for a while out of that where the cabin was. And uh, sun is out and it's hot and the snow has stopped and we're now just on rocks which is weird as you think that as you're going further up the mountain there'd be more snow and it'd be colder but it seems like it's opposite land today oh i am sweating i'm in 14 layers on the top and 27 layers on the bottom very hot i've turned a corner and just after saying to you the snow has stopped, the snow is back. Maybe I am dressed for the weather after all. What I've come to behind me is what was an exotic pet facility where animals that were used in Hollywood movies were kept here and trained to be on film. But apparently now it's not uh, 
quite as exotic as it was and all that's left are a few horses and a couple of dogs. Somebody left a comment on Far Out about that exotic pet thing saying that the T-Rex had ripped down the fence and allowed the Velociraptors to escape. It appears so. We just come to the water cache and there's a sign saying trail magic down that hill. The trail goes up that way. You better know we're going downhill to that trail magic. I think we might be in the right place, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, am I dreaming? How are you doing? And we got a puppy as well. Does it get any better? So, just left the trail magic. I think the afternoon of hiking is gonna be a lot harder with a massively full belly going up those hills. Still have about 400 feet of elevation. Woo! I'm feeling it already. But that was some good food. Thank you, honeybee. Thank you, beekeeper. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got to the end of the day. We are now sat around a picnic table in the middle of the woods having dinner the way that hiker trash should. This is Lauren. Lauren, what's on the menu? Uh, chili ramen. Well, going brave, going the exotic. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> I got me some uh, Cuban black beans, banana and rice. Wow. Yeah, fancy splurging tonight. Right. What do you think of the trail today? Should have brought a sled. <laughs> like for sure. Laura, what's your, what was your impression of the uh, trail? Yeah, it was it was sloped. S sloped. Yep. Very <laughs> astute. <laughs> that is an adjective. <laughs> so we should have been snowboarding today instead of hiking, but that is it for the end of the day. So thank you for joining us, and I'll see you in the next one.